Happy Friday, everybody. It has been a great week here at West Lane. Um, on announcements today, uh, we do have um, uh, some information about the yearbook, some information about the lit crew. We have, um, we're going to finish up our history of Dr. Martin Luther King's life and his legacy. And we're going to end our announcements today with a short excerpt, about a five minute excerpt out of a 17 minute speech he gave uh, the, uh, the I Have a Dream speech. And if you want to watch the rest of it, um, I will send out a link with um, the announcements this morning to the full uh, speech. So if you want to pause me at the end and have your teacher show the full speech, they can do that as well. Okay. But I think this, uh, the part I'm going to show today uh, gives a lot of the, the meaning behind his I Have a Dream speech and, uh, and a lot of what we're going to be, what his legacy is for what we're celebrating on Monday for his his holiday uh, that was uh, in honor of him because his birthday is this month. So let's get to announcements. All right, today is Friday, January the 13th, 2023. These are your morning announcements. Westland Middle School is an avid school by side of distinction. The mission of Westland Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. All right, let's make sure that our lanyards and our IDs are wound around our neck to be Wildcat ready. Our binders and our Duna books are with us. Coach, backpacks, fanny packs, and purses in our lockers. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and phones are in our lockers. And blankets stay at home. Take a look at today's schedule. It is period eight. Uh, I'm sorry, advisory period eight, one, two, three, four. Period one is the lunch period. And let's talk about like making sure we have West Lane uh, clean up clean up our messes i will say this these past three days in the cafeteria have been phenomenal uh you guys have left very little i mean i made a little bit of mess with the cheetos yesterday but you guys did do a good job of cleaning up after yourself there were two trays uh yesterday left and and b lunch and we already picked out those people and had them come down and clean the cafeteria there's no reason to leave your trays take your trays up and throw away all your trash all right, join the lit crew in your canvas inbox there'll be an application to join the library information team these are students that will be trained to help lead different aspects of the library that application will be in your canvas inbox on tuesday i did your wildcat readers what is the lit crew well it is a uh, library information team and you're going to be uh, learning during grade level spa you're going to create new book displays in the library you're going to plan library projects review books for announcements and learn how the library works how to apply, you're going to complete the Google form by Mrs. Muller on the WL Canvas page. I'll send it out, but you'll see it there uh, on your Canvas inbox starting on Tuesday. All right, let's talk about, like, let's finish up uh, a little bit of the doc life of Dr. Martin Luther King. Yesterday, we did know, like, in 1968, he was assassinated in Memphis. And um, so through that, then, uh, his legacy was celebrated in 1983. The Senate voted to make uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday a national holiday. It is the third Monday of January. Uh, President Reagan at the time signed the bill into law on November 2nd. 1986 was the first year to celebrate. A uh, week of concerts, church services, school activities, and parades took place in cities all throughout the country. It wasn't until 1993 that the 50 states observed the holiday. Again, uh, you can make a law that sometimes people just don't do the right thing. And in this case, Arizona and New Hampshire didn't want to pass that law until they were, uh, there was a lot of pressure brought to bear on, by people to have that holiday and to make it a national holiday. And that's kind of like the, that's his legacy. So we celebrate him and you'll see parts of the speech I'm gonna show at the end here today on a lot of newscasts uh, tonight and a lot, of, uh, a lot of places you're gonna see over the weekend uh, to honor Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy. Here you see an artist, Selma Green, uh, with a painting. It's called Mountaintop, and uh, it's talking about like one of his famous speeches, like I've been to the mountaintop, and uh, it shows two uh, different things about his life, and it, really well done. That kind of encapsulates uh, Dr. King's life in this picture. All right, don't forget we're on high in every class. That's Wildcat time. Let's talk about the yearbook. Uh, yearbooks are now on sale. Cost of paper has gone up, but we've done our very best to keep the prices as low as we can. If you order and pay by January 31st, the cost is 
If you order and pay after that, the cost is $30. All orders and payments are due by February 28th. If you don't order by then, we won't order you a yearbook. Uh, we don't want to sit here with ones that have been unpaid for. You can pick up an order form from your advisory teacher or Mrs. Kleeman. Payments can be made in cash and check and given to Ms. Kleeman, or you can order online following the instructions on the order form. I will also send this out to your parents. Um, all orders are on Parent Square, but all orders are due and payments are due by February the 28th. Don't forget this is the, uh, we are no computers this week. Pass protocol, each student gets an average of one pass a week. And no pass the first 20 minutes and last three minutes of class. And all food should be in the cafetorium. No food should be outside the cafetorium. And breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafetorium off the bus to get breakfast. All, hit, all cell phones are in your locker between 915 and 415. They're taken if they're seen or heard. Now we our motto, every wildcat, every day gets better. I'll pull my video back up here. Again, too, um, teachers, if you're choosing to show the whole video, uh, I have a dream speech. It's great. You can show that. I will send that link out, and you can pause me here and then show that. If not, I'm going to share with you a five-minute excerpt of the speech that I think gets uh, a lot of the good message of that speech. So I will click myself off and begin playing that video right now. Or even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. But my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama, with its vicious racists, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. And every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is a faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith. We will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. 
This will be the day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, My country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring. From the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania, let freedom ring. From the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado, let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, Thank God Almighty, we are free at last.